It is a fruit grenade. Hook. Oh! What's up, guys? It's the old ninja wearing Avers and a superhero hat, and welcome to the modern ninja. And today we're doing another episode of my series, Weapon Logs. In this series, I go over some amazing weapons that you can add to your zombie killing arsenal at home or just add to your collection because you like weapons like I do. Now, guys, I love Assassin's Creed. It is an amazing game series, and no, I am not sponsored, but I wish I was. So, um, Ubisoft, um, get on it. But like I said, it's just one of my favorite game series. And my favorite games in the series is actually Assassin's Creed 3. And yes, it's true. Connor is my favorite assassin. I don't care what you say about it. So obviously I wanted to talk about his signature weapon today, the Tomahawk. Now for those of you who just wanted to know whether or not this can actually hold up some damage, I'm gonna tell you right now, it can. And there's a link down in the description of this video if you wanna get one for yourself. So go forth and have fun. Now, if you are one of the ones that want to see it for yourself, then uh, hold tight because it's gonna be a real good video. Let's go into the stats. This Tomahawk is built for outdoor activities, all while keeping a low price in mind. So great for people like me who are uh, poor and if you want me to no longer be poor so i can review more expensive things then hit me up with that hbo special that help a brother out special and drop a like comment and even subscribe if you're new but back to the blade this 3cr13 stainless steel blade allows this axe to be budget friendly all while keeping a toughness and hardness on the medium range knives and axes and this steel allows it to actually be quite resistant to rust and corrosion. So taking it through water, mud, and any other environmental hazards should be just fine compared to other types of steel. <laughs> That was juicy. It was juicy. And of course, the ability to sharpen the tomahawk is important. I mean, it's a tool designed for cutting. So that part is obviously something you should take into consideration. And for all you beginners to blade sharpening, you're in luck. This steel is super easy to sharpen. It's actually a great place for beginners to learn how to sharpen their own blades. This helps to compensate for the mid-level edge retention of the knife. What does that mean? Well, it means that even though your edge will not last forever, you can quickly and easily sharpen it with most sharpening tools on the market. Now that is only one side of the tomahawk. That was, yeah, I'm not proud of that joke. The back end comes with a pick that is rated to stone, allowing you to break apart rocks or whatever reason you need. This also means that you would be able to go through glass in an emergency situation with ease. I wish I had like a piece of glass to break, but you know, like I said before, I'm poor. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. This is exactly what we wanted. Yes. This is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> So excited. <laughs> yeah, drink it, dude. Now this tool is actually fairly small. The cutting edge of the ax is only about two inches long and the overall head length is about six and a half inches. And the whole ax length is only about 13 inches from tip to base. This means that for bigger jobs like cutting down trees is maybe slightly more difficult than some other bigger axes out there on the market. However, that's not really what this is designed for. This is designed for you to keep on your belt and use for various small tasks you may need during your outdoor camping trip. Making kindling, chopping small firewood, breaking apart and clearing out rocks, liking and subscribing, you know, all that fun stuff. It even has a belt loop on the protective case for easy access. Now I would show you this, but it was lost in a fire. <laughs> but the axe wasn't. But like I said, this is designed to fill the middle ground between small pocket lives and full on axes and machetes. There you go. That does it. Now oh, you got it. Yep. There's a lot of hair in there. <laughs> now going into the design of the Tomahawk, it sticks with a very sleek and almost modern look that would go great with this hat right here. Just, you know, this hat. 
marked down below. The handle actually has a built-in grip with the lines curved into the handle. Having the lines there means you can feel what part of the handle you're actually holding onto without actually looking at the tool. This means that you can pull it out much faster and safer in any self-defense situation. It allows you to keep your eyes on the person trying to harm you and still arm yourself in the process. It also allows air to pass through the lines and touch your palm, which will keep you less sweaty and give it less of a chance to slip out of your hands. You're also better at me than th at throwing axes, so you're gonna take some some turns at throwing. You just want some pineapple. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Possibly. So we're gonna throw this at this plywood. <laughs> oh, it hit blade in. That's pretty good. Let's try that again. No, I don't think it'll stick blade in. Although it hit on the back side, because that's a that's there. So it might only stick blade in. Let's try that again. Mm. Let's check it out. I like that whistle. Yeah, it makes a nice sound, and you hit it, looks like blade in. Blade yeah. in. Yeah, I'll put it right in there. I don't think it'll stick. Like I said earlier, if you want this tomahawk for yourself, go check it out in the link below. And while you're there, shop that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. And of course, make sure to check out the videos that YouTube suggests at the end. Apparently there's something perfect for you, but you know, I don't know. So let me know how perfect it is down in the comments. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out. I could beat somebody with a pineapple. You know, it's a good hammer. Oh, sweet. <laughs>